One person's trash may indeed be another person's treasure. It also may be the means to make ends meet in these struggling times. A Texas man has built his life around that theory and is on a mission to get others to do the same. His story tonight from NBC's Ron Mott. While the economy has a lot of folks down in the dumps, That's it's got college point. professor yeah, Jeff Farrell down in the dumpsters. It's a daily pastime turned full-time mission. Finding stuff. New shoes. Antique touch-up paint. Decorative twig orb. Found actually upside down. So he doesn't have to buy stuff. Candle holder. Showing others how to tame the shopping bug and still build an empire with no money down by scrounging. I think it's sort of a transitional economy between jobs or uh, into supplement, you know, minimum wage work or part-time work. It really is a, as you can see, you can really... Uh, Get some things that are value to you and help out your friends. See here are some. His home uh, is littered with freebies he's collected on dumpster in dives. In a trash pile, which is a classic kind of oil skin, 50s lamp. Cameras, pocket knives, glassware, music CDs, even toiletries. To be honest, I haven't bought deodorant or soap in years. Outside is another warehouse of finders keepers. That's one of the ways you can turn this into cash to pay your rent or buy your food. Consumerism, he says, isn't the enemy. He'd just rather it not be our best friend. With all the talk about getting people spending money again, Farrell sees the dumpster as an economic stimulus package of its own, where everything around you is on sale at 100% off. I would argue the stimulus is to actually save your money and, and be able to get by with, with earning less. Some local charities get by because of his efforts. I found some coats. Most of his hauls end up with them. Jeff is the only one that does, like he does, and goes to the dumpster to get stuff for us. He goes the extra mile to find things. <laughs> Going the distance, however extreme, it becomes less nutty the more you actually see what goes on with it. To make a statement, Ron Mott, NBC News, Fort Worth.